what's going through young people's minds when they're carrying knives? Because you now work with them, don't you? Yeah, I couldn't tell you precisely what goes on with every young person in regards to carrying a knife. But from my experience from when I used to carry a knife, my reason would have been for protection. I'm sure young people think most is similar. And there's also different ties such as a reputation or want for feeling included or want for feeling liked. There's many different reasons why young people carry knives. And I couldn't pinpoint exactly the thought process in every young person's mind. But again, it's trying to, my job is to give them that awareness and the reality is about the concept of these things and make sure they are making or giving them the right ideas or the right inkling to make better choices going forward. What do you say to people that you meet, boys, I imagine mostly young girls as well, what would you say to them? It's all about finding them the right opportunities and finding them things aside from getting out, going outside, picking up knives and getting involved in criminality. It's finding them things that they actually enjoy doing and things they want to pursue careers in. And once you can do that, it channels themselves because they'll motivate themselves. When you start to hop the barriers with these young people and you break down the little walls that they have, they start to find that confidence and that self-esteem in themselves and they start to actually claim an identity which a lot of young people struggle to find. That's interesting. So, I mean, we're here today, the Mayor of West Yorkshire, Tracy Braven, is trying to bring together different organisations to reduce violence. Do you think they're going about it the right way at the moment or what can they learn? I believe so, but again, I feel like the solution mostly lies in the opportunities that young people have. I feel like a lot of community centres and youth clubs got closed down quite recently, so I feel like if the opportunities arise for these young people to do better things and it keeps them engaged outside of school as well as in school, then that's the best thing we can go do going forward. Just tell us about your loved one's reaction to you know the change you've got in your life, now, like your mum, for instance. I'd hope to believe my mum's proud of me at the minute again it's just I feel like that's a, a key factor in why I now do what I do as well given that beforehand I used to go out and my mum had used to worry about me 24 7 I'd come in late and not really speak or not really see her much to now I get up I go to work she knows where I am she knows I'm safe and just that security knowing that I'm safe and as she's not worried about me that helps me do my job even better because it thrives in, in the fact of my mum knows where I am, she knows what I'm doing and she knows that I'm doing nothing that's going to trouble or she's not going to get a phone call or receive a knock on the door saying that something seriously happened to me again and that sense of relief, is it just makes me feel good about me. And what are your hopes and dreams for the future? I hope to just pursue and change as many lives as possible and see where this life leads me, I'll see where the road leads me because I feel like the impact that we're having at the moment is is having a positive impact on the young people so it's just to push it and see how far we can make a change or make that difference. Wow, Charles Hesler, our Bradford political reporter there, speaking to Marcus, who just seems like an incredible, incredible human being who's able to turn his life around for the better. The more he continues speaking so, you know, so diligently from the heart, from the soul and from experience, hopefully so many young boys and girls will be spared having to go through anything like he went through to get to this point. That was at the launch of the West Yorkshire Violence Reduction Partnership uh, launched by Tracy Brabin. Hopefully that will continue to make a difference within communities.